guys welcome back to my youtube this morning i went surfing with landon and it was a little bit stormy out unexpectedly weird because it's really nice out right now and i'm actually going to go down to the beach later and have a little bit of a beach day i wanted to show you guys what was in my beach bag today i thought that would be fun because i'm constantly going down to the beach because i live really close to it and i have some essentials that i never leave the house without when i'm going to the beach so i want to share that with you guys before i go down to the beach and show you what's in my bag i just got a shipment in from nasty gal that i'm really excited about and i haven't even tried it on yet so i thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a try on haul for you guys and i'm going to link everything that i try on below in the little description caption box so if you like anything feel free to check it out down there I I always link everything by the way in my youtube caption so if you're ever wondering what i'm wearing what i'm doing or i mentioned something specific i always try and give you guys the links so just so you know i haven't tried on any of these things yet because i literally just got it actually i have i'm wearing a nasty gal piece right now then we got this cute little tank i love the print on it really in right now i see all these fun like tie-dye prints going around but i like the fact that it's very neutral you can wear it with a lot of different things but it has a little splash of fun in the print so it's really cute then we got this blazer love this blazer i've been needing a white blazery jacket thing to go over a lot of outfits this will go with so many different outfits and it will kind of elevate whatever i'm wearing which i really like so i'm gonna try this on check it out try and style it with some fun things i'll probably be wearing this all the time wow it's really soft too I wasn't expecting it to be this soft. It has pockets in the front. Love that. And then we got this little set here. It's a tan sweatsuit set. I've been seeing these longer shorts everywhere recently. I'm a big fan of them because I feel like they're just comfortable, flattering on the leg. They're not too short, which I like. You could just throw these on, run errands in them. And then the fact that it's also a set. Again, sets. I love sets. I also really like this neutral color. And this tank top, you can even wear this tank top by itself. Even just wearing like jeans and this top will be really cute and fun. And I got a plain white tee. I buy plain white t-shirts all the time. I don't know where they go. I always lose them for some reason. I had to get another one. I like that it's cropped. Literally pair it with anything. Can never have enough white tops. Lo and behold, we have another set, you guys. I got a gray. Just kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> kind of like the one that I'm wearing, but a really big over oversized t-shirt instead of an oversized sweatshirt and got some gray biker shorts kind of mix it up for the warmer weather it's nice pair this with like sneakers tall socks and you look really cool okay now we have a graphic tee so cute oversized graphic tee got a lot of comfortable tees i just feel like you can never have enough of them i like the fact that this is purple and pink it's really fun kind of 70s -y. it says grateful you can pair this with shorts tuck it in maybe some jeans i could wear this over a bathing suit. I'm probably gonna wear this to the beach actually over a bathing suit. Then we got this cute linen button up and I like this because I could wear it open, put like a tank top underneath it. Linen material makes your outfit automatically look a little more elevated. Last but not least, I got these super cute little slippers from Nasty Gal. I'm gonna be wearing these all around the house. Oh my gosh, they're so fluffy and cute. I needed new slippers really badly, so love these. for my floor I'm about to show you what's in my beach bag i'm gonna go to the beach in a minute first thing the bag this is from stony clover and it's so cute i've been using this for like a year now it has like little puka shells on it, it says cassie such a cute beach bag perfect size and then a cute towel i'm bringing this little sarong -y looking towel it's actually really big and it's really cute i'm probably not gonna go like in the water right now because the water is cold 
ish and i'm a wimp when it comes to cold water so i like to bring like a thin cute towel to lay on you can also wrap it around you like a swimsuit cover up if you want and then i've got a hat obviously need a hat when you're going to the beach you need to protect your face from the sun this hat is also actually uva uvb proof which is so cool that's why i got it and i got this a few years ago from pretty sure i got this from free people a few years ago i don't really know what brand it is but if i find it i'll link it below we got some water want to stay hydrated at the beach hate being super thirsty at the beach and then having to walk all the way back up find water blah blah, blah. so water and snacks i need to pack some snacks for later too because i always get hungry i think it's being in the sun always makes me really hungry at the beach also this might seem pretty obvious but i always bring music to the beach so whether that's headphones or a little bluetooth audio player got some sunscreen my favorite bioclarity sunscreen has zinc oxide in it floralux jojoba i really like it because it's uva and uvb proof but it also it's reef safe so it's good for the ocean so especially when going to the beach make sure you pay attention to what sunscreen you're using because it can be harmful to the ocean and the reefs and everything so bioclarity sunscreen big believer in this stuff got a polaroid i always bring a camera or a polaroid i guess you can use your phone too but i love how the polaroid looks and i packed a polaroid just in case i want to take some cute photos always bring a camera everywhere i also brought my tiny bit of makeup in a bag i didn't want to bring my whole entire makeup bag it's just annoying but i just brought some facial spray derma e and a hydrating facial mist you know it's kind of refresh yourself cool off and then i've just brought some cc cream gloss some lipstick that's about it I feel like that's all you really need if you're going to the beach and trying to get that natural look okay what else do i got got some face wipes if you go in the water or if you have sunscreen all over your face and you're like hot or whatever i always bring face wipes to kind of wash anything off my face and refresh myself a lot of time at the beach too you can feel really dirty or sandy or whatever and so it's good to have something that can kind of like Clean you off if you need it okay so this is a mess if you're gonna be going in the water my hair gets so tangly especially if i'm like surfing or swimming around i don't know rolling around in the sand so i always always bring a leave-in conditioner or detangler of some sort it is a lifesaver so i brought this day leave-in conditioner i've been really liking this stuff i use this after showers too and a comb just to be able to brush out my hair and feel a little better not have rat's nest in my hair when i get home obviously Obviously, I packed sunglasses. I don't know what ones to pack, so I have them both right here. Um, these ones are Desi, these ones are Ray-Bans. Always need to have sunglasses, protect your eyes. My eyes are really sensitive too. I brought a hair scarf, you know, just in case. I don't wanna use the hat and I still wanna like protect my face from the sun, wrap it around my hair, you know, or sometimes if I take a nap, I like to have the hat or the hair scarf and I like to just lay it on my face. So it's nice to have something to lay over your face if you're gonna take a nap, which I might later on. I got my Kindle because I love to read on the beach. I take this everywhere with me. I literally can't fall asleep without it. And then I also brought a little notebook. My mom actually got me this. I don't even know where she got it, but it's really cute and I haven't written in it yet. So I'm reading a notebook, might journal down there. We just got a couple more things in here. I packed an extra hair tie. I have clear hair ties in right now. So in case these ones break, I always bring an extra hair tie. I hate that when your hair's in your face and you're like, this is the worst. I'm at the beach, the wind's blowing. Always bring a bathing suit, obviously. I have one on right now. That is what is in my beach bag, typically, and for today.